Well, after a quiet July, the tropics are really starting to heat up, which makes sense since we are now in the peak of the season. Meteorologist Chris Mulcahy talks about the most active month in the tropics in this week's Weather IQ. September 10th is the exact peak of hurricane season, where over 40% of all tropical cyclones happen during the month of September alone. Let's talk September hurricanes in this week's Weather IQ. Since 1842, September has recorded 316 tropical storms and 541 hurricanes in the northern Atlantic, and 25 of those reach Category 5 strength. This is more than any month. There have only been 37 Category 5 storms in recorded history. That means about 68% of the strongest hurricanes occur in September. 2019's Hurricane Dorian, 1988's Hurricane Gilbert, and the Labor Day storm of 1935 produced the strongest September wind speeds, all gusting up to 185 miles per hour. It's this time of year that the ocean waters are reaching their warmest temps well into the 80s, especially for the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. But tropical development is possible across 4,000 miles of ocean from the U.S. to Africa. That means more activity for the Carolinas, where about a third of all tropical storms and hurricanes form during the ninth month of the year. The most notable, of course, is Hurricane Hugo. Hurricane Hugo is the strongest hurricane to ever make landfall in the Carolinas. On September 22, 1989, peak winds near Charleston, South Carolina were estimated to be 135 to 140 miles per hour. That's a strong Category 4. Others to mention, Hurricane Gracie is the only other Category 4 hurricane to make landfall in the Carolinas during September. And Hurricane Florence took the title from Floyd for the most rain dumps in North Carolina from a tropical system. It's also the costliest hurricane in the history of the Carolinas. With WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy.